Greetings. This lesson is on powder volume problems. Okay, so sometimes in the pharmacy you will have um, problems that involve powder volume. That's why they call them powder volume problems. Okay, so what we're talking about here, we have a vial or a bottle and in it contains a powder, a dry powder, and so it takes up a space or a volume. And then when you reconstitute it, you add a diluent, which is you know, usually water, and it could be other things also. So um, the amount of water or whatever you're going to be adding is called the diluent. So that has a volume. The powder volume plus the diluent volume is the final volume. Okay. Now also involved in these problems are two other aspects is always going to be the weight of the active ingredient. Okay? And then we're also going to have a concentration involved in these problems. So the concentration, the final concentration will be the weight over the final volume. So here's an example of a problem you might encounter. You have a drug that is 5 grams in weight. Okay. The concentration after it's reconstituted is 250 milligrams per 5 mLs. You had to add 70 mLs to mix it up. So uh, what is the powder volume? Okay. So all of these problems involve these five um, aspects. Is, um, okay. So the first time I taught this, you know, I, I didn't use this little chart and things were kind of complicated and then I went home and thought, well, you know, how can I make this a little bit simpler? So I came up with this chart here. So basically all you have to do is fill in the blanks. Okay, so we're going to start, the weight is 5 grams, so we put that down there. The concentration is 250 milligrams per 5 ml. 250 milligram per 5 ml. We had to add 70 mLs to the bottom. So that's the diluent vo volume. So that's 70 mLs. Now, this is what we have to find right here, the powder volume. But before we can do that, we have to figure out the final volume. So there's 5 grams, is 250 milligrams per 5 mLs. So how many total mLs would you have? Okay, so this is like the basic problem uh, we talked about in the first video. So our answer is going to be in mLs, right? The given is 5 grams. Okay, you should know 5 grams is the same as 5,000 milligrams. So I'm just going to start off with 5,000 milligram. And the concentration is 250 milligram per 5 mL. So 5 mL goes on top and 250 milligram goes on the bottom. So that all works out to 100 mL. So that's the final volume. So now we can fill in this blank. Okay. Now we know that the powder volume plus the diluent volume is the final volume. So all we have to do is subtract the diluent volume from the final volume and we get our powder volume of 30 mLs. Now sometimes they're going to ask you a second part. They're going to say, Something like, uh, how much would you have to add to get a concentration of, let's say, 125 milligram per 5 mL? Okay, so we just make another part over here, and we fill in the second part. So the second time, the concentration is going to be 125 milligram per 5 mL. Now you, have, you have to ask yourself, what will not change from the first scenario to the second? Okay, the final volume is going to be different, right? The diluent is going to be different. We're going to add a different amount of water. The powder volume is going to be the same, right? That's not going to change. We're just going to add either more or less water. And also the weight of the drug isn't going to change because we're only going to change how much water we have. We have. So 5 grams. 
Okay, so we're going to do this problem again. But this time, is the concentration is 5 mL over 125 mg. Okay, so that should be um, 200 mL. Yeah, so that's, that's 200 mL. All right. Okay, so now all we do is subtract the powder volume from the final volume, and we get 170 mL. Okay. See how that works? So, um, Sometimes they don't ask you anything about the weight or the concentration. They'll just say something like, uh, you added 65 mLs to a vial and you ended up with 100 mLs. What was the powder volume? So all you do is subtract 65 from 100 to get uh, 35. Okay. Thank you.